What's up guys, Jason here with The Mentor Show. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for being a subscriber. Okay guys, so it's the 13th of April. It's uh, seven in the morning, we're getting an early start. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a bunch of stuff done today. And uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do our, uh, our yearly maintenance on the Kubota. Um, all the fluids, filters, uh, air filters, uh, just gonna do it all. Um, just do it once a year. I don't even worry about the hours. Let's just get it done because I don't put enough hours on it. So uh, we're just going to go ahead with the maintenance. So let's bring it in and get started. All right, guys. So uh, first thing we're going to do is the oil. I'll let the, uh, I'll let the engine uh, warm up. So there's actually two drain plugs on this Kubota. I'm just gonna break them both. You gotta get all the oil out. There we go, one. And two. All right guys, we're moving on to the oil filter. I'll get this bad boy off here, I gotta. All right, that should be good. Get my oil, oil wrench off. There we go. All right. All right, there we go. All right, guys, we're installing the new New filter here. Get screwed on. We just hand tighten this one. All right, guys, we're at the point now we're adding some engine oil. Got the drain plugs back in. We got the filter on. Everything's torqued. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the air filter box here. These systems have a two filter system. This is the outer. That's the outer, and then we have an inner. So let's open the box here. I'm kind of curious what the outer filter looks like. We'll compare them. So there we go. That's the, uh, this is a new one. This is the old one. So uh, the yeah, issue's definitely looking dirty. So it's a brand new one there. I think she just twists out of there. There we go. All right, so we'll take a look at these. This is the old one, it's a new one. And you can see it's definitely dirty, so. So there we go, Get the new one installed. Get some clean air. All right guys, so we are on to the part. I don't really, I don't really care for this part. This is a, the uh, hydraulic filters. There's like two filter system in here. And I thought I got the right oil filter wrench, but I guess I didn't. The fluid comes out really quick or not. One of these. Now right, we get the new one on. There we go. Okay. All right, guys, we're on the second hydraulic filter. This one's always the worst. You always seem to lose a lot of hydraulic fluid with this one. So we're gonna try to be crazy quick and see if we can get her on there. That's a rough one. Okay guys, we're on the uh, very last part here. I'm gonna change out the uh, fuel filter. And uh, I have a funnel here connected to a tank because uh, this usually leaks. So we'll try to recapture some of the uh, diesel fuel instead of getting it all on the floor. All right, I got some fluid diesel fuel coming out, going into the can here. Okay. 
Okay guys, so uh, service is done on the uh, Kubota for the year. And uh, yeah, went pretty easy. The hydraulic filter system's always just, uh, you know, just comes gushing out, but that's all right. We, we added some more and uh, got it all up to par. So um, I'm gonna let it idle for a little bit and check for any leaks. And we'll probably turn it off and just make sure all the uh, dipsticks are correct for the hydraulic system and the oil. So pretty easy stuff. But uh, after this, we're gonna move on to lawnmowers. So join us for that one. All right guys, so we're back. And now we're going to change the oil in the uh, Honda HRX lawn mowers. We got one here, one's over by Maggie's car. I got them kind of cleaned up. And uh, we'll uh, change oil, uh, change air filter, and then we'll sharpen the blade. So, should be pretty quick. Here we go. It's always tough, because they do it, you empty them from the side. Let's see. All right, guys, we'll just start draining the second one. All right, guys, now it's time to add the oil. Get that going here. All right, guys, as we're waiting, we must have uh, got two new air filters here for them. So we might as well just pop these out. New and old. So definitely has some dust on there. So get her a new one. Oh yeah, that's the old one. Definitely needed some uh, air filters. New and old. Very good. All right guys, we're at the point now we're gonna sharpen these blades. So I'm gonna take an impact here and uh, get these bolts off. It's kind of loud. All right guys, so we're gonna sharpen these blades now. Uh, I'm not the best at this, but uh, I just kind of use my uh, grinder here and I kind of just go and follow the contour of the previous sharpening. So uh, I'm not the best at this, so just FYI. That's usually just give it a quick check, see if there's a little bit of an edge on there. That's pretty good. All 
All right, guys. So uh, it's about it's about uh, a little bit after 4 p.m. now. I ended up mowing the grass, and uh, we had some lunch and everything. And I came out to mess around with some wood, and um, I got some pieces cut up. I was just kind of going through here. Got a bunch cut up here. Got a bunch cut up right here, and I got some over there cut up. But um, I was in the back trying to move some wood because I was going to split and uh, it was a big round. I was just trying to roll and uh, I, I tweaked my back a little bit. So, um, yeah, I, I'm fine. It's just I'm having a little pain in my, my lower back. It's, see, I always seem to get it every one, once a year, it seems like, in my like lower, just because my lower back. It's like one side or the other side. So, uh, I'm all right. I'll take some leave and uh, we're just going to change courses here a little bit. Uh, I'm actually thinking about getting out the new pressure washer. I wanted to get uh, Maggie's car clean before she gets home. Uh, she has a bunch of uh, she has a bunch of pollen on it, and uh, I thought I'd clean it up for her. And we could try that new uh, try the new pressure washer out. So let's give it a try. See how it goes. Let's uh, let's run some water to it. Make sure there's water coming through it. Turn the house water on. I just want to make sure water's coming through it. Should come out of here. There we go. All right. So we've got water coming through the system. Very good. All right. All right. So let's see what we got here. We got an on switch over here. Good. And over here. Gotta turn the gas. Gas is on, looks like. Choke. Choke is this way. Gas is on. All right, let's give her a, let's give her a pull. I wanna hurt my back, let's see here. Oh, wow. All right, let's try it again. I'm not sure what was going on there. There we go. I didn't realize there's a throttle lever right here. So you got max and minimum. So right now it's on like minimum. So we can, we'll be able to throttle her up a little bit. Let her warm up for a second. I like how that thing's so hard to move, that little lever.
All right, guys. So I stopped the video abruptly. That pressure washer, I have no idea what's going on with it, but that engine will not run at full throttle. It idles fine up between low to medium, but once you go from medium to high, it is like constantly surging. Um, I don't know what what's going on. I was through the web pages, the uh, YouTube. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna get the serial number, and uh, yeah, Luna's mad like me. I'm gonna contact uh, Simpson and see how they want to handle this. It's got to be something with the carburetor. Uh, it just doesn't. It's not getting into the right fuel amount, or yeah. So. Um, yeah, so that's it. So we're going to just call it and uh, I'll give you guys an update once I hear back from them on how they want to handle this repair. So, all right, guys, it was a busy day. I'm going to go relax um, and watch the Penguins game tonight. So I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. All right, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a subscriber, guys. We'll see you. Bye.